actor John Boyega has been playing unforgettable characters for more than a decade. His debut film, Attack on the Block, put him on the scene back in 2011. Of course, he went on to play Finn in the Star Wars franchise, uh, mm -hmm. bringing him international acclaim and success. Well, now John is back. He's back with a new film. It's called Breaking, and it tells the true story of Brian Brown Easley, a veteran suffering from PTSD. Dependent on his disability checks from the VA, he holds up a bank when the checks stop coming. It is an ambitious role bringing humanity to a desperate man. They're gonna attack me from right there. Well, you know what, call him. Sorry, I'm Call him. I need everybody to see what's happening here. I need the fire trucks. I need the news cameras. I need the X-Men. Call them. Call them. Mm. John, good morning. Good morning. Talk about meeting the moment with this role. Yeah. Um, so this movie, a lot of people may not realize, is based on a true story. Yes. Why did you want to get involved in telling this story? Well, the, my main shock was that I, I didn't know about this story. It happened in Atlanta yeah. um, uh, just a few years ago, and the fact that I didn't know about it and the fact that I didn't have the perspective on our veterans and people who come back from war and can't kind of, like, get back into society inspired me to want to be a part of the storytelling of this. Mm. And so, yeah, it's, it's such a great, amazing story to be a part of. Mm. Yeah. And, and it, it's, a, it's, it's based on a true story yes. to the point where uh, you actually got to speak with Brian's ex-wife, yes, Jessica. Yes. Jessica, yeah. There's a, a certain responsibility, obviously, playing somebody who really existed. What was her reaction to the film? I was nervous to talk to her. My mm -hmm. chest was in caving in a wow. way that it hasn't before because the responsibility of that and, and, and the loss of, of, of sometimes these, these situations. But it was amazing to have her, her feedback. Okay. Um, she knew the man, you know, she knew the man in the morning. She knew him every day, working day um, during the week and knew what his consistency was and what he's capable of. So for me, it was a nice guiding light to have her to go, Brian's voice is softer. Yeah. Brian doesn't. He, Brian wouldn't wow. wouldn't look you in the eye when he says that. So those kind of notes are something that you can use as a guiding light to portray someone mm -hmm. who 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 was here, you know. Yeah, and that's important. Helpful. Yeah. Uh, the late Michael K. Williams stars alongside mm -hmm. you in this film. Yeah. Is it true that you actually had a role in? in like requesting that I he begged him. is in this wow. movie with you. You know, you know, they say request, so it seems to see if I've got some power coming in or whatever. <laughs> I was say no, 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 no. It was begging. It was beg straight up begging. I, I, I wanted, I wanted to star alongside somebody who I've been inspired for, um, so by for the for the whole of my career. I watched him in The Wire, Boardwalk Empire, yes. and when I knew that it would be just a few weeks commitment, and we needed an actor who was versatile, who had the range. I, there was nobody else, and um, the fact that he actually you know, took my little $2.50 to do this movie yeah. is, it just reflects on, on how much yeah. of a, an amazing man he was, you know? And he came bearing gifts, right? What yeah, yeah. You know, he smelled good. The first time we met, we actually, <laughs> he actually came into my trailer by accident. He thought it was his trailer. And then we kind of, that's the first time we met. And then I just noticed, I go, man, you're one of the nicest smelling men in Hollywood, man. Where did that from? Um, and then the next day, he was just like, yo, dude, black owned business, here's the, here's the cologne. Um, and that was our connection from, from, from then. So what, what, what a nice man to, to, to star alongside. You just, I'm watching that clip there. And, and, and some of your other work as well. Perhaps folks at home can tell you're not American. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're British. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> how, do you, how do you hold the accent like that while you're filming? Is that is that difficult or is that something you just get used to? I think it's exposure. Remember, you're America. You're number one in the world. So a lot of people are looking at you. A lot of people, with children, when I was younger, nine years old, ten years old, they asked me, what was your favorite movie? It will most likely be an America, American movie. And it, in order to portray my favorite actors, my favorite movie stars, yeah. I'd have to do an American accent, right? So to, to a certain extent, we've been yeah. training from a young age, and I, and I can only assume as, 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 as much as New York actors out here, they do great British mm -hmm. accents, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, it just depends on your, can your you exposure. Can you just turn it on? Yeah, turn it on. Can and you off give us some American right now? <laughs> of course, of, of course American. I can. I can, you know, I can give you a, a John, thank you, Breaking Hits Theaters, wow, August 26th. That's what's <laughs> roomy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can, I can give you something with that. Wow. But, but with Brian, it was different. Um, based on a real person, the intonation, yeah. um, um, the accent, obviously having that Southern influence is something yeah. that goes into it. But I just love my job as an actor. My job is to portray other people. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's all a part of it. Well, listen, you know you've made it win. So we were teasing earlier this morning that you and Al have something in common. Do you remember what it is now? Uh, yes. I okay, do. so both of you have um, something special. A wax figure. Oh, oh you Tussauds. got one. I do. Yes. Where is oh, your wax figure? Madame Tussauds, right? His is in New York City, right? Nice. Yours nice. is in London. My one is in London, yeah, home city. Makes sense. What? Yeah. Oh, there's First the all, Roker. There's Al. I actually, there, there were two. They had, did, there was the fat Al Roker. <laughs> 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 they like gave you a makeover? <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. See, what I did, I said, I said, hit in between. I, I told him to hit in between. You never know how it's going to yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. yeah, and yeah. I just saw yours. That looks real. That's amazing. So accurate. That but you know what the key is? What? Get your family involved. So my sister uh, done all the designing for, for my clothes. The clothes. Yeah, you know, managers over there. My no mom, dad better. gave notes, said, you know, the back of his head is a little bit bigger. Look at that. Stuff like that. Is it weird when you saw it? I mean, that's got to be It is. It is so strange. I mean, we do not get that perspective in life. So it was strange to see that. That's cool. Come back in. So good. I know. Oh, always. So good to have you. you have to come back and talk about the role of Viola Davis. I mean, this the, is the, the, the woman king. Oh, oh yeah, king. would love I can't to. Even would wait. love to so reconnect. You're coming that. back. From, well, you'll be in LA. Or yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm around. I'm All around. right, breaking. <laughs> it's theaters, August 26th. Thank you.